Sure. Better see what that crowd's about. What if the giant comes this way? Please, everyone stay calm. Please, everyone remain calm. I assure you I will do everything in my power to get you the answers you need. Our friends among the Huana have offered you hospitality and safety from the storms. Yes, yes. I think we are all keenly aware of the debt of gratitude we owe to the... I have personally seen to the safety of your homes. Now you will do the same for our families. What about our families? What about the ships? How are we supposed to feed ourselves? If everyone would... It's one of the pirates! Two of my guards reported a ship flying deer wood and colors, fallen prey to a private vessel. That would be your ship, I assume. That would make him lucky. Your own vessels do not usually fare so well. Quite. Perkin Plank, everyone, forgive me. I believe this matter requires my attention. You have my word that I will keep you apprised of any changes. Especially you, Mr. Ekawa. Do not flatter me with Valian titles. You are distracted with your newcomer and wish me gone. But I will not go far, Governor Clario. Gerade. As for you, stranger, let us speak at my estate. We'll discuss your predicament. Accept the light, and you shall be redeemed. Se futito! Madicchio! I did not sign up to be burned! This flame is not for purification. It is for illuminating the darkness. Sanctification comes only as a result of your journey. But the light will guide your way. Aethys has returned at last, but it's not too late to redeem ourselves. As surely as my fingers are webbed, I tell you, gone Never left. Sakes alive, Wangliss. Ain't we got more pressing matters to attend to than a baptism? We just missed one of the biggest reapings of all time. What about the souls that need us? 
Do not push me on this, you wayward child. You'd leave the living for law and to service the dead? Here, I'll add them all at once. The ones I dreamed died. I'm guessing you're not here for the baptism. Sure did. I get those kind of dreams sometimes. The ones that turn out true. Nightmares more like. Terrors that come true. Had him since I was a little girl on the farm. Guess Gone was speaking to me even then. Some of our brethren suffer from these visions more than others, while some of us, favorably, have none at all. It ain't a curse. It's a blessing. A mark of the divine. I knew it! Gone's been calling me here. Left the breadcrumbs in my dreams. I need to get inland. If you're going, I could help you. Swear on my soul. Gone's a smidge of darkness in the light. He was the part of Aethys who divined the dignity of dying and the return journey to life. Oh, hell. Now, where are my manners? I'm Shodi, child of the Dawn Stars and priestess to Gone. At your service. Darn right I am. Why, you know an awful lot about gone? Sure, most of the brethren believe in him, but they believe in Aethys more. Shame how they got it backwards, ain't it? Blasphemy. You will cease your black-tongued utterances this instant, or so help me, Choti. Their souls needing their last rites. I ought to shine them the light, else they might get lost. Enough nonsense, Jyoti. No one knows if anyone's even died. You've no business going in there, risking your own safety, risking our mission. Wanglith, you guide the living and I guide the dead. Gone bids it and I dreamed it. Leave it be. We all serve our purposes. So what's yours? So you can see souls? <laughs> That's a handy talent to have. I know my harvesting would benefit from it. And here you are, following my god. Watcher, will you take me with you? I know an offer rare as hen's teeth when I hear it. Yeah, I'm taking it. You won't regret this. Uh, hey. At least take care, child. Come back to us in one piece. If not for my sake, then Sawin's. So don't tell her. What the High Priestess doesn't know won't hurt her. Doc? You watch over her, you hear? That's one of ours whose fate you've taken into your hands.
hands. For God's sake, I don't need Nanny and Wangliff. I've reaped more with my two hands than you'll dream in a lifetime. And you've pride in that. Do you see why she needs guarding? You must shield her light. Do not let her lose it or her life. Do you seek a blessing from the light? You chose wisely. Endurance is the path to perfection. Hand me your palm. We'll strengthen your spirit through tribulation. This flame lacks the flicker of guidance, but it will purify both flesh and soul. Let the pain absolve your sins. And now for the benediction, what I speak you repeat after me. Godly redeemer and bringer of light, who shepherds his flock through the labyrinth of hell. Though you currently rest in peace, we remain devoted until the time of your revival. We believe in your coming rebirth, in the restoration of your holy greatness. And we now beseech you. To banish the shadows of the unfaithful and wash away the sins of our past. Good. The light accepted you for its host. Go and be well. Walk within the light, and you shall not falter. May Aethys's light shine upon you. Will do. The children of the Dawn Stars. I wondered if we'd run into them down here. There's someone I used to know. Just uh, an old friend. Came out here to settle with them last I heard. Maybe we should ask around, see if she's still out here. Might be she can help us. Just a friend, huh? Oh, uh, well, both grew up in Gilded Vale, same temple. All right, all right. We, we used to, uh, you know. <laughs> she was real loud, too. Used to have to cover her mouth or she'd get the dog howling in the next room. <laughs> I knew you'd understand. You're gonna like her. I got a good feeling. What can I do you for? About time we took a breather. My feet are blistered something fierce. Tell me what's on your mind. We talking during the Saints' War or after he died? I really only know what my folks taught me. Aethys embodied St. Widwin, but during the war, he got blown to bits. That's the thing about human bodies. Eventually, they all gotta die. As the god of rebirth, of course, Aethys would be coming back. But where I differ from my family's view, and my high priestess's view, is that I've studied the apotheosis of Gone. 
And I know all about the backside, the downward swoop, the death part of the cycle of life. Abscission, rot, regrowth. What's gone can never be again. What comes back is changed, always. Even if what comes back is a god. Then you mean gone. Sure, maybe my god still answers to Aethys as well. Why not? But Aethys died, and death requires change. He ain't what he was. Not in exactly the same way. That's why I think his other aspect, his darkness in the light, is what's burning brighter in him now. No need to fiddlefoot around. I'm listening. <laughs> Reckon not. But I can't help but be a touch wayward. I don't take it too far. My ma caught me once necking in the murkberry stalks. And of course I fight. But I've not done much more than that. And I don't use the real ugly words. Sometimes the feelings, they just come tumbling right out of me. Gods darn it. We talking during the Saints' War? Well, before he died, he was still Aethys as the majority of my brethren know him. Aethys embodied a human. And when that human got blown to bits, we all believed Aethys died. And I think a part of him did. The part he'd most closely woven into living flesh. The part that represented life and rebirth after death. Which means the part of him that could have survived, that stormed across the dead fire seas, was the side more aligned with obsession, rot, and falling away. That which is death. No need to fiddlefoot around. I'm glad we talked. On it. I've got it. Will do. Ah, yes, there you are. As governor and under the auspices of the Valian Trading Company, please allow me to officially welcome you to Port March. I'd like to say the pleasure's all mine, but I try not to lie. Don't worry, I'm only here on account of him. Of course. I see you've been as quick to involve yourself as ever. Apologies for that little drama outside. These are confusing times, and people often react poorly to uncertainty. Between the storm, the pirates, and the, well, certain strange events, we are all a little on edge. Interesting. Is that why you came? This may be a Valian trading company outpost, but I welcome settlers willing to work. Now, to the matter of your ship. 
You're stranded, are you? It was a rough landing by all reports. Unfortunately, our own ships are in no condition to sail. We've had dealings with the pirates ourselves. They've taken their share of supply ships. The storm saw to those berthed in the harbor. All that said, I believe I may have a solution, provided you're willing to help me in turn. Marvelous! You've washed ashore like a sign from the gods themselves. I have the guards on the lookout for pirate vessels looking to take advantage of whatever damage the storm caused. We've cannons enough to see them off, but I need every man ready to use them. There is a... site of some considerable value elsewhere on the island. A value to the trading company, you understand. In point of fact, it's the very reason any of us are here. You're familiar with the luminous Adra trade? Are you indeed? How very interesting. Do you know, they'd have a great deal of interest in speaking with you at headquarters. Something to consider. Well, Luminous Adra is to Adra what a fine wine is to... Uh, well, never mind that. The point is that it is a particularly potent material, suffused with essence, and it is only found right here in the Deadfire Archipelago. It's also quite valuable. When refined, it sells for considerable sums. The trading company has invested a lot of time and money into locating sites suitable for mining and processing. That's a, a colorful way of putting it. Energy really is more apt. It's not quite a matter of digging up the spirit of your old grandmother. Spin it however you like. The gods are going to grind your soul to bits for this sin. We will have to agree to disagree. We, and I hope you understand that these matters require some discretion, have one such outpost on the other side of the island. A successful venture, up until very recently. We sought to improve the refinement process. To that end, we hired some of the brightest minds in the field of animancy and brought them out here to lend their expertise. And then one evening, a storm rolls in out of nowhere, and my scouts begin to report that the giant has marched its way across the island towards my dig site? What am I to make of that? We haven't heard from Mestre Odorisi since, nor any of his assistants, or the workers. I must know what has happened. If Odorisi, if his work is lost, then everything that we have worked for is at risk. You say you are hunting this thing. Well, that is where it went. You need a ship? I need information. Do this for me, and I will set half the town to work on freeing your vessel. Why... Take his report on the situation and remind him that he's under certain contractual obligations. And relay my deep relief at his good health, of course. I told you what happened, but you wouldn't listen to me. We could have prepared for this level of destruction. But what do I know? I'm just a priestess with prophetic dreams. The Huana storm speakers should have kept the worst of the weather at bay. I can't imagine what else might have happened. There are wild beasts on the island, but they wouldn't have attacked an active dig site. Gelade, then we are agreed. I will assign men to keep watch over your ship. You will find the dig site on the eastern side of the island. I'll mark it on your map here. You'll do it for the watcher, but not for me? I see how it is. Yes, 
Why wouldn't I want a pack of dawn stars crawling over my Adra mine in search of their lost deity? One more thing. If you should recover Odorisi's notes, know that they would be of great value to me.